Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Zach, but you guys can call me Hazardous. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into my channel and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video here on the channel today, guys. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be talking about different side quests, side activities, and side missions you will be able to take part in in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm going to talk about some other leaks that aren't confirmed yet by Rockstar, and I'm also going to add to the conversation and let you guys know about some of my side activity wish list items that I'd like to see in Red Dead Redemption 2. So if you do, you guys do go on to enjoy this video and you find the information helpful, definitely drop a like on this video. And if you guys are new to the channel and want to see Red Dead Redemption 2 videos every single day, just subscribe as that would really help me out. And thank you guys so much. Without further ado, let's jump into this information. So a couple days ago, I made a video titled Red Dead Redemption 2 New Huge RDR2 Leak, RDR2 New Confirmed Information, Details, and More. And you guys absolutely destroyed that video. 8,000 views, guys over 250 likes and over 90 comments. You guys absolutely killed it. Thank you guys so much. And so last night I made a video titled Massive Leak Red Dead Redemption 2 First Person Mode Leaked. And you guys love that video as well. Right now it's standing at about 2,000 views and over 80 likes. And that really means a lot to see you guys loving my content just like this. And so I let you guys know in both of those videos that since this leak is so massive, I, you know, the video that has 8,000 views was just an overall overview of me basically reporting that information and talking about it. Just not in too much of detail, but just having a discussion with you guys and you guys exchange your comments in the comments section, letting me know your concerns and questions, etc. And so in this video, I want to break down one of the features and uh, that was mentioned in that article, and that is side activities and side missions. Now, before we get into this as well, guys, I want to let you guys know about two of my good friends. Um, who I've started talking to recently. They make great um, Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and their names are Red Dead 2 Videos and iru 399 iru 399 recently got a shout out by Legacy Killer HD for some information that was never before seen or heard by anyone else through one of his friends. And so if you guys want to see that video, definitely go check them out. I have both of their channels linked down in the description titled Check Out My Friends. It's got the two bell icons next to them. And so you guys can click on your on their channels right there. And I highly encourage you to do so as they make some great Red Dead Redemption 2 content as well. But like I said, without further ado, let's jump into this and let's talk about this. So on the Trusted Reviews article, which I talked about a few days ago, um, there's a little part of the text that says, aside from the solo campaign, details of which we won't spoil, side activities will also be available. We already knew that. That wasn't necessarily new news. Rockstar Games always put side activities in their games, but they also break down some of these and go into detail on some. And so let's review that information. They say, horsemanship challenges can be completed to increase your rider rank, while dozens of different fish can be captured across the world. Plants and herbs can be gathered for crafting purposes, with the document listing types including clamshell, ghost, night scented, rat tail, and spider orchids. You've also got fishing, which seems to be in-depth with a selection of baits and tackles available for purchase, and you can even buy a can of worms. That's so cool, because we've seen uh, fishing game modes available in games like Far Cry 5, and I'm not sure if it was in Far Cry 4 or not, I think it's only in Far Cry 5 that you can fish, um, like truly with a fishing rod, not just, you know, going up in the water to like a shark and shooting it. That was in Far Cry 3, I know. But anyway, back to Red Dead Redemption 2. These new side activities are pretty cool. I don't think this is any groundbreaking information here that we can do horsemanship challenges and harvest plants and herbs and also fish. I mean, fishing is pretty cool and I'd like to see what Rockstar does with that. But harvesting plants and herbs, we've seen that in Red Dead Redemption 1 and even GTA 5 with the peyote plants. You can just wander around the map, stumble upon plants and herbs. And in Red Dead Redemption, you can sell them for money. And in GTA 5, you can get really high off them and, and fly around as different animals and do cool challenges that way. But the horsemanship challenges are also really cool as well. But I just want to go over some of my wish list items that I would like to see as side activities in Red Dead Redemption 2. And then I'm going to talk about basically why I think they would be good in the game and also why they are kind of likely to be in the game as well. And the first is train robberies, because it seems like that after Rockstar put that particularly picturesque scene of the locomotive puffing along in the game's announcement trailer, players are constantly banging on about train robberies, and I can't blame them either. It's one of those quintessential things that bandits in Western movies and Western games do, and it was missing from Red Dead Redemption in a proper, structured manner outside of the specific missions that John Marston took part in. Should Red Dead Redemption 2's world have a system of these train tracks crisscrossing the map based on player proximity, the trains could occasionally be spawned nearby with a prompt to rob them. These prompts would always spawn when the train is near, 
to reaching a station, giving the player a limited time to complete the robbery because Lawman would attack you if you're still on board when the train reaches the mentioned station. I also want to see bank robberies, because while Heist may be GTA 5's turf, there's nothing to prevent some good old bank robberies to be present in Red Dead Redemption 2. One scene in the game's second trailer showed safes being blown open as Morgan walks stoically towards the camera. While this is likely a scripted event in a story mission, it leaves open the possibility that the game will feature a number of banks, which will offer players a way to make a quick buck. And These mechanics of an activity like this would be rather easy to implement, in my opinion, because simply clearing out the guards, grabbing the loot, maybe implement some lock picking or safe cracking system that would take more time but yield greater rewards than blowing the safes open which might damage the goods inside and get out shacking whatever kind of wanted system the game will have and then I also want to see um, fishing and hunting because this was mentioned in the leak and it's something I want to see as well because while hunting was present in Red Dead Redemption fishing wasn't however both of these side activities have been present in a number of open world games in the past few years and one recently like I said Far Cry 5 and the thing about these activities is that they can be quite divisive who would bother fishing in a Wild West bandit power fantasy like Red Dead Redemption 2 the thing is when it comes to open world games if the world itself is of quality and we're speaking about a rockstar title here you can't really enjoy that vast world with bullets flying about constantly basically every open world game out there has at least one kind of side activity which isn't as action-packed as everything else giving players a chance to explore and enjoy the world which the developers put so much effort into building up and filling it with detail that you're bound to miss during the main missions I also want to see brawling as a side activity getting into a scuffle when you're trying to have a drink isn't something that necessarily needs to be institutionalized in an open world game but then if given some kind of structure visiting every saloon and beating the local champ to earn the reputation of being the top brawler in the region players will be motivated to beat in a few faces in in an organized manner I also want to see duels make a return this is something we saw in Red Dead Redemption 1 and it's going to be in Red Dead Redemption 2 even though it's not confirmed I can pretty much guarantee you that duels were an integral boss fight mechanic in Red Dead Revolver and were used sparingly to a great dramatic effect in Red Dead Redemption while also forming the conceptual basis on the dead eye mechanic and similar to the brawler concept in each settlement there will be some kind of badass undefeated clearly because they're still alive they're a badass and undefeated but they would be a duelist who you need to out badass and leave them in a the dust with a quick trigger finger and I'd really like to see that in Red Dead Redemption 2 as well and then lastly the last side activity I'd like to see is the strangers and strangers and freaks missions we saw in Red Dead Redemption 1 and also GTA 5 because I know that every Red Dead fan would be disappointed if these wouldn't make a return in the upcoming game strangers missions were odd requests from various NPCs living across the frontier and these tasks were varied sometimes simple sometimes weird and instead of driving the main story forward they gave the world more character and Rockstar implemented a similar set of these missions in GTA 5 called strangers and freaks like I said these stranger missions also gave us the mystery of the enigmatic strange man a dapper fellow dressed impeccably who seems to know a whole lot about John Marston mysteries are always the most intriguing when they are left unsolved so I hope Red Dead Redemption 2 won't give us a straight answer to what he's on about but a reappearance would be most welcome of course for every fan there are at least five ideas for side activities so you're all welcome to flood the comments with your own input regarding what activities you want to spend time on and what you don't want to spend time on when you're progressing with the main plot definitely let's have a conversation in the comment section down below let me know what you guys think about this video and what other future red dead redemption 2 videos you would like to see here on the channel as well i hope you guys have a fantastic day like i said if you enjoyed this video and found this information helpful definitely drop a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and you guys want to see daily red dead redemption 2 content that i upload here every single day on the channel before i leave i also want to leave one more thought that i'll mention in the start of my next video guys is i'm going to be making a Q&A for Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm getting a lot of questions in the comments sections here on my channel and I also am getting a lot of requests from people letting me know like their thoughts and opinions on my video itself and other activities and things to do in the game that they'd like to see implemented into Red Dead Redemption 2. So I figured I'd take all your guys comments, concerns, requests and questions and turn it into a Q&A and we can all just talk about our wish list for Red Dead Redemption 2. I think it would be a pretty fun topic and I hope you guys join me in that. So if you guys want to let me know any of your concerns, comments, questions, or requests down in the comments section, that would be most welcome. Thank you so much for tuning into the channel. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Adios, amigos.